So welcome back to my tutorial. My name as usual is uh, Stanley. Today we are going to look at uh, how to introduce uh, an image and a link to your page. So far we have covered uh, how to introduce the heading, how to introduce the, the paragraph and also the title. So I hope that at least you can prepare your whole page having those three basic things. So as usual, the first thing to do is uh, you save your work. Then uh, maybe let's go to maybe uh, insert uh, image. That is the name of my file. I need to, to check uh, the, the type, the HTML. Then I save my work down there. Now, the next step, maybe I can introduce uh, maybe on this part, maybe I can introduce uh, the title. The title could be insert an image. Insert an image. Then as issue, I need to close uh, my work. Then I save uh, my work again. Maybe I can minimize uh, this part. Then I double click on this part. Then uh, down there, double click on the web browser. So if you look at uh, this one, you can see maybe the the title. This is uh, this part. We have. Uh, this part and this other part we have the paragraph but uh, since it wasn't our point of interest in our today lesson maybe you can get uh, rid of them now let's see how to insert an image so as usual you start with that part then uh, we have uh, that part that will start for image then we have src which start for the source then we have the equal sign those two parts then you need to state the origin where your image is stored if i look at uh, my image it is stored at which part this is my image it is at the desktop the image is uh, saved as stanley so what i will need to do is that uh, when it comes to the name, maybe I can write uh, Stanley there. The Stanley is supposed to be the image format is a JPEG. Then uh, my work will earlier. Now let's see. Then I do the saving. I'll save my work. Then after saving, let's see how it will uh, look like in this part. So something is missing in my work. Let's get back to to the editor. So if I check this part, it's Stanley JPEG. Now let me see how I've saved my image. So there it is. If I check at uh, this part, it is a JPEG file. So we need to have uh, the same word. So I'll come and uh, add E there. Then I save my work again. Now let's let me see whether the effect has been uh, affected on my work. Exactly. There goes uh, an image on my web page. But if you look at that particular image, it's a little bit uh, large. It is impossible for you to get uh, a web page with uh, such big uh, image. So we need to do something in terms of the width and the height. So what will come, I'll go back to my editor and do something on this part part. So I'll need to do to change the width of my work. So let's assume I need my width to be maybe 300 while the height be 
So my width is uh, 300 while uh, the height is uh, 300. So I'll do as we show. I close that part, that other part. Maybe you can see what I've done, the equal sign, the opening quotation and the closing quotation. Then I do the same on, on the height, equal sign, opening, then closing. Then I save my work. Let me see. Then I go back to the to the browser. You can see what has really happened on my work simple the image has uh, reduced to the size i required maybe to make that particular work to look a little bit uh, attractive maybe i can introduce a leading so we go back i hope still you remember how to introduce uh, the heading so we have uh, adding one adding one So maybe that is my adding. Then I save my work again. Now let's see the effects on the browser. Very good, clear work. We have the heading, we have the image. Now already having done that, I hope that uh, you can prepare a web page with the different sizes of image. Now, let's move to introduction of uh, buttons. Let's see how to introduce a button in our browser. There goes, so as you show, it's supposed to start with the button there. Let's call the button, what do you call the button? Let's give it a name like uh, click here maybe click here then as we show we need to close very simple work then I save my work let's see what has happened on, uh, on the browser then I refresh my work there goes the the button but if you look at the position of the button maybe you may not be wishing the button to be at this position on maybe on the right of your image maybe you want the the button to move from this point all the way to to the below the image so what do you need to do let's go back to the editor if you look at my work we don't have any paragraph so what you need to do maybe you can introduce a paragraph There goes uh, there goes my paragraph. So this is the the starting of the paragraph. This is the ending of the paragraph. Now let's save my work again. Let's see the effects on the browser. Maybe you can see what has happened. The button has moved from this point to this other this other point. Very good. Now what do you need? We need also to to see how to introduce a link having done having already known how to introduce the, the link maybe you can come up with a having done already with the button maybe you can introduce uh, the link on our web browser so my link I will introduce at this particular point so it's supposed to start with that, that. then we have uh, href then we have uh, the equal sign. Then in between, you introduce the link you want to, to for it to appear on your web page. Then as we show, you close your you close your work just like that. So let me assume. Let me try to extract from my, one of my web page. maybe at least I can pick uh, one of the one of the videos then I get uh, its link maybe I can pick uh, this link then I'll come back to my editor and paste the link on this particular point 
having done that i will save my work and uh, refresh on my browser and see whether there has been uh, some effects so we need also to do something else we close that part and uh, we open on that other part remember to start with the the opening and the closing of these two parts then i save again then I'll check uh, on my browser for the effects so we need also to write uh, something in between uh, this point and this other point so my way i can write uh, like this And I save my work. So I save my work again. So maybe you can see the channel or rather the link has appeared on this other point. So maybe in the next uh, step, maybe I can merge uh, the link and the button. So whenever you, the people viewing your web page want to reach your channel maybe they can click uh, the button so what i will need to do i will uh, merge these two part from this point to this other point so i'll start from there then i introduce uh, a button and uh, let me zoom in so rather than having these as your as your button once maybe you can say click here for the for the viewer to reach your pinch then i will close my button then i will save my my work then i will refresh uh, the page on this one so here it is so whenever I click on this point because you can see whenever i'm here down there we have uh, the youtube the channel or rather the link of my channel so whenever i click uh, this point it will maybe take me back to my channel so after clicking the button it has taken me to my channel here it is so what we have learned in our lesson today we have covered uh, three things the image the button and how to introduce a link so thank you for watching my my tutorial what i need you to do you comment you like and also don't forget uh, to subscribe so that uh, in the next video it will appear on your subscribed uh, uh, channels thank you have a great day